Welcome to Watch of the Week here on K-Spec. This is a series of brief reviews and previews of recently introduced timepieces. It's not a commercial, so you will hear my unfiltered reaction, my unfiltered opinion. And our guest in this week is... A new Tissot was announced, officially not as Genta or Genta Design, only as PRX, but this is too short for me and others, right? And the first remarkable thing you may notice here is the typical 70s design made famous by Gerald Genta for Audemars Piguet with the legendary Royal Oak. And later he designed watches for IWC, Ingenieur Line and Patek Philippe, where he created the Nautilus. Key elements here are a Thule look, massive case, which looks more like a building or gun turret, integrated bracelet and the willing to show the wearer functional elements like screws for example. And the legend goes that Genta was inspired by battleships like the HMS Royal Oak and by diving equipment like helmets. And now before I tell you who doesn't like that watch so much, let's go over the basics. Case diameter is 40 millimeters, length of the front surface also 40 millimeters. And the case shows the tonneau form and of course you get another measurement when you include the integrated end links which substitute here the lux. Sapphire crystal, waterproof up to 100 meters, inside works in a quartz EDA movement. And the price is 345 US dollars. Until now, no official price for Europe, more about that in a minute. But first let me say that the price is one element which brought me to make this video. The Janta design has a lot of fans and it's not rare. I mean, you find it even on vintage Tissots and of course on immensely expensive watches from the big brands. But here you have it in a convincing form, without the need to spend thousands and without the rather bad condition of a real 70s watch. Design-wise, the watch here delivers perfectly fine this 70s look without being outdated. Look at the dial. It sits nicely on this front plate held by a fine bezel and it lets room for a beautiful sunburst effect on navy blue. The date wheel presents an extraordinary accent which nobles the entire appearance of the watch. Okay, this was a joke. The white date wheel here is a mild form of crime. This watch needs a navy blue one. I mean, even micro brands do it all the time. But I really like that they keep all the other elements simple. Logo, PRX, Swiss made, done. And I like indices and hands because they really remind me of 70s watches made by Tissot and Omega. I see there are plenty Omega DNA to be frank. Look at the case sides. This band played their screams. Constellation. And the watch is not yet in the shops but I'm sure it sits very comfortable on the wrist because it has a good size and a slender. And inside is as mentioned a quartz ETA. A tiny thing which makes those measurements possible I'd like to say. But at the same time we have to take in consideration that there are in fact many other slender watches with automatic movements. Omega produced slender automatic watches already in the 60s. So why quartz? And I think two reasons here. First, the cost. When a manufacturer sees the chance to get away with quartz, then it's tempting. And here Tissot could get away with that, because the design is also connected to quartz. Think of the famous Rolex Oyster quartz. There you have it. Or the fact that Genta liked quartz. Quartz wasn't seen as evil by everybody in the 70s. Many people saw it as a relief from mechanical inaccuracy and as an affordable and reasonable way to measure and display time. It was the new hot stuff and so it made sense to put it in a design which breaks with traditional forms. But I've mentioned somebody who doesn't like that watch. <clears throat> Women. At least I made this experience that this gender design is to a certain extent a watch nerd male thing. And people who see watches as sheer accessories don't get the point. And so don't be angry when you show your girlfriend or wife a watch like this one and she says then something like, I hope it wasn't too expensive, honey. But if you are a woman and you like the watch and I'm wrong, then please write in the comment section. Back to the features now. People on forums are speculating if the watch will be available also with an automatic movement in the future. And this could be because we've seen the very successful Tissot Gentleman, basically a Rolex Datejust homage, and this watch is available in an automatic version. And I would welcome that because a ticking second hand, probably without any precise connection to the indices, together with that date wheel, could give the watch a pretty cheap look, not even worth the 350 US dollar. Uh, by the way, if you look it up on the German side, for instance, you see this, zero euros. So a bit of a chaos there, probably due to the holidays or the still lasting Corona mess. And they apparently also have produced a version with a white dial here and golden hands and indices, but I really prefer 
that blue dial. So very sorry that I cannot tell you the exact price in euro and the availability, but I think the next weeks will bring some clarity here. And I personally, when I saw this watch on a forum, slightly used, price on street level, then I would consider a buy. I mean, the form is present on the wrist and fun to wear. Here you see my old Seiko 5, worn on a lake, and it simply is a wonderful piece. Okay, that's all for now. See you next Monday to Watch of the Week here on Caseback.